What's up everybody? It's me Cyrus. Welcome back. Today I'm going to begin diving into some videos where I just take a quick look at some of the best games on the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. And I'm a huge fan of JRPGs, especially the 16-bit era. It's by far my favorite era for video games in general, I think, but also for JRPGs. And the TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine definitely have their share of fantastic role-playing games. The NES has some amazing ones, even the Master System and Genesis. There's several consoles from around this time period in this era that have just some phenomenal role-playing games. But I think that if I was to pick one console that has the most really, really good JRPGs, it's going to be the Super Nintendo, the Super Famicom. And I don't think it's even close. I think this console, especially now that so many of the ones that never made it to the United States uh, have been translated to English, especially now. Uh, yeah, this is the place you want to go to to have some really fantastic gameplay experiences if you're into Japanese role-playing games. And I am. We're going to look at this one, Tales of Fantasia. This game was re-released re on other platforms. It made it to the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it made it to other consoles that it's been released on beyond that. But uh, originally it was Super Famicom and it was Japanese only. And for years and years it wasn't translated to English. Now you know I did a gameplay uh, series not that long ago where I played through Star Ocean, which is another game. <laughs> very similar to this in a lot of ways that um, never made it to the United States and was translated later. And fortunately I was able to purchase a cartridge of star ocean fully translated and have that gameplay experience on original hardware, which was really cool. Uh, I couldn't do it on my flash cartridge because the game was too big and it, it had a special chip that decompressed the game or it was a whole thing and it, it wouldn't work on my flash cartridge. But thankfully, Tales of Fantasia, which has been fully translated to English, does work on even my crappy China EverDrive. So it works very good. So we're going to play some Tales of Fantasia. I'm going to show you a little bit of the game. We're not going to do a whole lot. Um, but this is just a quick look at Tales of Fantasia for the Super Famicom translated to English. So let's pull that up. And here we go. And I'm going to shut up for a minute so you can hear this awesome opening. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Yeah, I mean, this is on a whole nother level from some of the early RPGs, especially for the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. This is the graphics is, are just absolutely stunning in this game, and the music, the voice, wonderful, brilliant experience. All right. We'll jump into a new game here. And we'll leave his name. That's fine. We'll just do that. Yeah. Okay, yes. Tenko Mitsuru Tokoro ni Warewari. Yomi no Mon Hirak Tokoro ni Nani. Heyo. By the way, I am using original hardware and uh, S-Video. This is uh, S-Video through my RetroTank 2X Pro. Who are you? What are you doing here? No! After generations, this curse upon my family finally ends. Ten years have since passed. Dad, you called me. Close's father, Miguel. How's your mother doing today? She's doing much better. Her fever's gone. She should be fine in a day or two. Good. I'm glad she's feeling better. I need you to talk about the pendant. 
My pendant? The one you gave to me for my birthday? What about it? Hey, Amy. I'm going hunting today. Is Kles going too? Can I come too? Sorry, Amy. You're still too young. Be a good girl and wait here for me to come back, okay? Well, okay. Be careful, Chester. I will. See you later, sis. Come on, Kles! Huh? Isn't that Chester's voice coming from outside? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I'm supposed to go hunting with Chester today. Ah, I see. We'll talk about it over dinner tonight. Okay. I'll see you then. Good luck, son. Master Trisson, you are more than welcome to stay here with us as long as you like. Thank you kindly, Sir Miguel. I'm glad someone in this house knows how to train, rather than going to play in the woods. Salty. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Chester. Master Tristan came by the house. Cliss, wait! Mom, you're still sick. Get back to bed and get some rest. I know. <laughs> I'm just worried. This area just isn't safe anymore. Mom, Chester's coming with me. We'll be fine. Don't worry, Miss... Alivane. We'll be back with plenty of food. You'll need to be rested just so you can cook it all. Alright. Just please be careful and take these with you. Your mom gives you two apple gummies. Ooh. Nice. Alright. So now we're playing. As you can see, these freaking graphics. Look how fast everything animates too. It's uh, It's got a nice smooth scroll. Frame rate is really solid. See how, it, like, the, you go underneath, so you have, like, shadows under things. There's reflections. Semi translucency. Look at the fish. That is freaking crazy. This is an, an insane amount of detail for uh, this type of a game. This is really, really cool. Definitely holds on to that same type of uh, graphical style as what you what you saw in the uh, star ocean very similar type of thing my brother will teach me how to use a sword someday i can't wait oh class you surprised me we're getting married soon so we're vis very busy with all the wedding preparations do i really have to be an usher Ugh. congratulations Class, I hope that someday you find someone who can make you as happy as she makes me. When I grow up, I'm going to marry you, Class. Uh-oh. <laughs> but Mommy says I can't even date until I'm 30. Well, that might be... It's kind of... Yeah, we'll see. Can I talk to you for a sec? So many terrible events have been happening around here. I'm supposed to ring this bell if anything happens here in Totus. Hmm. It's the big bell. I'm a traveler. This is a nice place. I may stay a while. Cool. Look at these graphics. Very detailed graphics. Ah, do you have a prayer request? Nah. Isn't Jen getting married here soon? What are you doing for the wedding preparations? I think I'm going to be an usher or something. I see. This chapel was named after Linnaeus, the man who founded Totus. So I don't want to disrespect his name by having a terrible marriage ceremony held here. Yeah, I don't either. Ah, Kles, what brings you to the chapel? 
<laughs> Just thought I'd stop by to pray before I leave. You're always being a good kid. I'm sure God has something special in store for you. Religion is a good thing to have, but lately, these religious zealots from Ulysid have been terrorizing people. Sometimes belief in a god can be taken too far. Oh, it's not good. Man, I love this chapel. Those statues are so sexy. Oh, wow. What am I saying? They are goddesses. What if they're listening? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we got in ye old weapon shop here. Armory. Having the greatest weapons in the world means nothing unless you know how to use it. Can I? Oh, guess not. Because of the great sword teachers here in Totus, there are some great blacksmiths here too. Are there? How do I? Is there a way to? buy anything or this guy's not selling nothing okay he's just uh talking there's an inn okay let's head out here let's see what we got are you two leaving we're going hunting I see. Have fun and good luck. Where are you headed, Tristan? I'm going to visit a friend. Good day. Hmm. Okie dokie. Nice uh, mode 7 overworld. Very cool. Look at the translucent map. Awesome graphics. You can bring the map up and down with start. The X button brings up your menu. Let's see here. What do we have in equipment? Plus. Oh, he's already got some stuff. That's good. All right. Let's see about Chester. And he's got a few things too. So that's good. Oh, I like how you can do the best option. That's good. That's really good. Okay, well. Oh, here we go. Time to fight. Battle seems to be completely automated. I wonder if that's something I can change. Change the formation. Tactics. Ah, here we go. Oh, okay. I'm actually controlling him. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a uh, real time battle with my main character. I didn't even realize that. Cool. So you actually are in actual full control of your main character. The other one you set their tactics for. Okay. Cool. Alright. Look at these graphics. Very detailed. Awesome stuff. Just wandering around, taking a look at things. Multi multiple levels of uh, backgrounds and the ground has that 3D type of uh, effect. Line scrolling effect or whatever they call it. Nice. 
turn the volume up just a little on the game. Seems a little low for this game. Let's see if I, I want to be on different types of uh, terrain so you can see how they look as you're fighting. That's just really cool looking background right there. It's funny, I always run into people when I don't want to, and then when I'm trying to, I can't run into anybody. There may not be anybody on the beach. A little low on life. I want to head back to town. I notice when you. Uh, oh, I have some items I can use actually. We can eat some stuff. Let's try that. Items. Yeah. A lot of pages of stuff. Cream cheese. interesting how you can store stuff. There we go. Alright. I like that the uh, the Mode 7 map is animated. It's not just like a static map. Oh. Oh, look, uh, 
little dog. It's not a town so much as just a somebody's house. It's locked. Yeah, I can't go in here. Okay. I'm sure I'll be able to go in here at some point. Let me know what you think about this game. What are your thoughts about the graphics and the music, the sound, the style of gameplay? Would you like to see a play session, like a full play session of this game? Because I would be up for that for sure. And if you are interested in that, then we could make this the first of the series. But you guys have to let me know what you think. Okay, I didn't even check to see if I can save. Yeah, I can save it right here. How about that? We can just save it right there. That's good. You don't have to get back to a village or something like that. Sometimes it can be a little challenging trying to get back to a save spot. And we're just supposed to be out hunting, so we're not supposed to go into any caves or anything just yet. Definitely need to get out of here because these enemies are pretty tough. I am about to die. See if I can use that in battle. Put it in my food sack. I can't directly use it. So maybe I can use it in that. Let's see here. Item. Nope. Can't get to it there either. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Nope. I'm not real sure how that works. I have to look that up. And there's back our regular village over here. One more battle. As you go, I'm sure you get like tactics and magic and all kinds of stuff that you can do. Right now we're pretty limited on moves and stuff. See, we already have... Okay. He's got one technique. B plus up. Alright. 
Moment. Let's see if we can pull off that skill real quick. Apparently not. I don't know. Yeah, we got a ways to go. A little marketplace here. We didn't even go in here. Hey, Chester, how's Amy? I know how much she likes apples, and I just got a fresh crop today. Bring this to her for me, okay? Cool. No problem. Dude, I don't know why I have to work so hard. We don't even have any customers here. I heard that. Get your ass in gear. Back to work. Ah, yeah, yes, sir. See if we can buy anything. Oh, there's an inn. Hey, can you do me a favor and take that statue to the aisle? A statue of a bush baby? What's it doing here? It's my husband's hobby. He carves them all the time. I see. It's really good. Carry it? Yes. Put it next to the window, please. I sure appreciate this. Okay, how do I... Oh, I see. You grab it and drag it. Next to the window, huh? There we go. I don't know if that's where she wants it. I'm traveling with my husband. We think we might like to move here. My husband is out talk taking a walk. See if we put it in the right spot. Here's a little spending money for you as a reward. Received 10 gold. Nice. Wouldn't expect to make money going to the inn. Hello. Go back to your house if you want to sleep. Okay, she's not going to let us stay here. Well, we can go back to our house. See that butterfly? That's pretty cool. Yep, oh, look at that. Hey, Cliss, what are you up to? We're going hunting down south. Take care. Hate to see a cutie like yourself get injured. Oh, oh my. They're over here practicing. Mr. Avalon is finally teaching me how to use a real sword. Can't wait to learn his techniques. Hmm. You're Miguel Evelyn's son, huh? I hope someday you and I can spar together. Cool. Shh, Cliss, be quiet. Your mother is trying to sleep. Okay, sorry. Would you like to take a rest? Yes. Sleep. 
Where's my sister at? That's not her. That's a, that's a maid. Let's take this apple to my sister. Not sure where she ran off to. It's not her, is it? Oh. Sister's a little girl. chapel. Okay. Yeah, I already talked to you. And that's the weapon shop. I don't know where she went. house. Amy, I picked an apple at the store for you. Thanks, Chester. Munch, munch. <laughs> You're the best brother I ever had. Amy, I'm the only brother you've ever had. I know, but I love you anyway. I have a feeling some serious drama is about to go down in this game. It's just a feeling. Let's see if we can buy anything in here now. Having the greatest weapons in the world means nothing unless you know how to use it. Maybe I have to go do training first. We're leaving now. Be back by sundown, Cliss. I will, Dad. All right. I guess we'll eventually be able to buy stuff. Looks like I'm supposed to go up here. I see on the map there's a spot that's like blinking. It might be where we're supposed to go. Boom shakalaka. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Aha! I can't carry this statue, but maybe I can pull it around. You can push or pull stones that are directly in front of you by pressing and holding, except try moving the statue. Yep, you can move it. I'm a merchant. Want to see my wares? Ooh. So he's got, uh, okay, Remedy Bottle, Blair Bottle, Increase Attack Power. Oh, nice. Hmm. We've got 500 bucks to spend. We'll get a couple of apples. Okay. Nice doing business with you. Uh-oh. There's bad guys here. I didn't even realize that. Nice. 
Go this way. Probably supposed to go where that statue was where I moved it. So I'm gonna go that way. Done for a second there. Sort of run out of life here. Yeah. I have to use my gummy. Still not sure why I can't use those. I'll have to figure that out. Ambushed. Bug bears and bees. There's the bees. There's the bug bears. Oh man. They're whooping my butt. Oh, dual kick learned. Nice. And I got an apple gummy. That's awesome. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, almost got to, almost got there. Oh. 
Let me see something here. Tactics. Nope. Okay. Can't do nothing right here. Let's check out that kick real quick and see what that... Let's see. Tech mm, skills. Dual kick. There we go. Oh, this is just like Star Ocean. So you set your, your close and your far away stuff. Oh. S-R-L-R. -R. Okay. Well, let's see how that goes. He doesn't have any. Okay. Cool. Life bottle found. Orange gummy found. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Ouch. Well, whatever I was doing, it was not the right thing. <laughs> Is upon us. How about that? We can save it right here. And I think that's where I'm going to stop. So, like I said, if you'd like this to be part one of a series and you'd like me to keep playing, just let me know. I definitely appreciate your thoughts and your comments and suggestions and ideas. Um, but there'll definitely be more videos coming regardless. So, this is Tales of Fantasia for the Super Famicom, translated to English. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye bye.